Okay, now let's talk about eliminating these pesky reflections that we see here on the glass. So these reflections are really annoying, especially when you're writing and because the reflection is so bright, it's really hard to see the marker when it's being written on top of that reflection. And it's even worse when you have a black, dark background. Now these reflections are just terrible. So there's a couple different ways to deal with reflections. Let's jump into that. So the first way with dealing with reflections is positioning. Remember earlier we talked about where to position your e-glass and not to position it uh, directly opposite of any bright lights or windows. Well, in this shot, I have e-glass set up directly facing this very large window uh, and some ceiling lights. So what I could do is I could reposition e-glass so that I am no longer directly opposite of those windows. So that is one way to deal with the reflections. The next way to deal with the reflections is to optimize the lighting by lowering the exposure. So again, go to your exposure down button and start to lower that exposure. And what that might do is it might lessen the intensity of the reflection by a little bit. Remember, if you lower the exposure, you're gonna want to raise the instructor lights so that you're still visible. But now what you have is like this reflection right here of this light and this one right here is a little more manageable. It's not as bad to where you can still write on top of it and people can see. Now the third way of dealing with reflections is to identify where the light sources are and just try and eliminate them. This is useful and worth your time if you just have like one pesky reflection. You can either turn, let's say it's this light for example, that is directly above and across from my e-glass. You could turn that light off or you could cover it up. Uh, that would eliminate that single reflection so you don't have to turn all your lights off. Um, so that's another solution too, is to just try and eliminate that, that reflection by covering it up. You could even you know, go up there with a, with a sheet, right? And, and see if you can carefully block out that reflection. Of course, if you are in a school, you're gonna wanna make sure you get permission first. Maybe ask someone in building management or IT to help you out. So eliminate those reflections at the source. That's another option. Now there's one more way to eliminate reflections and this way is almost guaranteed to get rid of all the reflections and that's using the anti-reflection hood. Let me put that on real quick. Now this isn't the prettiest solution, but if you're teaching from home, it's a really great idea. One thing you need to realize though is if you're using the anti-reflection hood, it's kind of hard to use in the classroom because it blocks your line of sight through the glass. I'm no longer able to look through the glass and see my students, so only use the hood in live teaching as a last resort. But you see here that it completely gets rid of all reflections and it's a great solution, especially if you're teaching remotely or recording lessons, if you're doing flip the classroom, anything like that. Just throw the hood on and it solves all of your reflection problems. Oh yeah, and if you have your laptop on the other side of the glass and you're seeing the laptop reflection in the glass, we included a set of filters. One of those filters is the polarizer filter. All you have to do is screw that polarizer filter on the adapter that it comes with. By the way, this adapter and filter set came in this little brown box Make sure you don't throw it away when you unpack your e-glass. Um, and if there are other filters included aside, besides the polarizer, you don't need those. Uh, they were included, uh, but they, they don't actually do anything. The one you really want is the uh, polarizer filter. And you just put this polarizer, slip it on top of the camera, and go ahead and just rotate that polarizer filter and you have to pay attention to your laptop screen where you see the reflection and you have to rotate it until that reflection disappears. So if you rotate too far, 
you might still see the reflection. It has to be perfectly aligned with the polarizer on the screen that's causing the reflection, and what it will do is it will cancel that screen reflection out. So use that polarizer if you're having reflection issues with screens.